Explorer, narrative experience place before story, balanced adventure, blah, blah, tactician for big dick energy. So that's what hard mode is called, tactician. Okay. Without telling us what it is, do I have a class in mind already? Yes. I will be slinging some spells. Just so you know. So that narrows it down to one of, like, four or five. Or six. Or seven. Or eight. These pre-rendered cutscenes are at 30 FPS. It's a sperm. A crawling sperm. Ooh, going through the ear, huh? Or not? Wait, the eye? No! Ooh, that's not fun. Impregnated through the eye. For those that don't know, chat, this is how illithids reproduce. So rip those guys. Who am I? I'm a custom person. All right, these are the these are the characters you can play as as the uh, story mode characters. But I'm gonna make a me. A race. So let's take a look at what we've got for racial options and stuff like that. Half-elf barbarian. Of all choices to be a barbarian, a half-elf doesn't fit the best. So, what's elf get? Uh, proficiency in longsword, short sword, short bow, and longbow. Dark vision of 12 meters. Fey ancestry. Advantage on saving throws against being charmed and magic cannot put you to sleep. Tiefling. Dark vision and resistance to fire. Drow. Proficiency with rapira, short sword, hand crossbows. Superior dark vision. Fey ancestry. Okay. Human. You have. Weapon proficiency in spears, pikes, halberds, glaives, armor proficiency in light armor and shields. Select an additional skill for proficiency with human versatility. Carrying capacity increased by a quarter. Okay. Oh yeah, I forgot to double check what their uh, proficiencies are over there. Athletics, Religion, Insight, Perception, Intimidation. Athletics, Religion, Insight, Intimidation. Athletics, Religion, Insight, Perception, Intimidation. Athletics, Religion, Insight, Intimidation, Persuasion. Githyanki. Astral Knowledge. Proficiency in all skills of a chosen ability until long rest. That's interesting. These are, uh, if I remember, Githyanki are basically astral beings. Psionics, Mage Hand. Yep, Psionics. Martial Prodigy. Proficiency in short swords, long swords, and great swords. Dwarf. Battle Axe, Hand Axe, Light Hammer, and War Hammer. Dark Vision. Also, they should have less speed. Yep. 
because they're small. Advantage on saving throws against poisons and resistance to poison damage. Yeah, but this is working on 5e e rules and poison is basically worthless, so... Half Elf. Light armor and shields, spears, halberds, pikes, and glaives. Dark vision at 12 meters, fey ancestry. Wait, do they not get... Something else? Oh, well, they got a firebolt cantrip, that's nice. That's weird. Halfling! Lucky! And brave. So, lucky is like one of the best possible things you can ever have about everything, anything ever. For those that don't know, uh, just being able to re-roll a nat 1 in D&D &D is insanely OP. So being a halfling is min-maxing in a good way. Gnome. Big on intelligence, wisdom, and charisma saving throws. Dragonborn. I'm a dragon. Get a breath weapon when you are dragonborn. Now, the acid breath is definitely because of the sub-race. Uh, I'm sure you can choose various different dragon types. Aren't dragonborn supposed to have some resistances to them as well? Based on their sub-race? I don't see any. Huh. And then half orc. We've got dark vision, relentless endurance. If you reach zero hit points, you regain one instead of becoming down. That's actually really strong. That's very good. And savage attacks. This is certainly missing a few races that I would have expected to see in D&D. But uh, it's a solid choice. A solid choice option here. Also, wow, Savage Attacks is strong. Triple crit damage instead of double. It's nice. Like what? These are all the player handbook races? Uh, I would have expected a possibility of seeing stuff like Aarakocra, for example. Asimar. Uh... Hell, since changelings are becoming a new thing in d and I, I would have almost half expected them to force the company to shoehorn it in as an advertisement. But there's plenty of races that aren't in the base player handbook that are still pretty common. Like I said, Asimar, Arakakra, uh changelings got added recently... Uh, the Genasi, fairies, uh, hell goblins are added as playable things, hobgoblins, etc., etc. You know what I mean? Or full orcs instead of just half orcs. Okay, I mean, we should clearly be a half elf because half elves are the prettiest race, right? Right?
All right, let's take a look at our sub races. We've got High Half Elf, which gives us a free can trip. Mm hmm. Wood Half Elf. You may get many break away from that, which gives us Fleet of Foot, a bit more move speed, and Drow Half Elf, which also gives us a can trip. I want to get high all the time. Oh boy, we can just pick our cantrip here as high elf. Good, good, good. Let's see. Target cannot use reactions. Shocking Grasp is nice. Yeah, sure. Let's take let's take a free shocking grasp. Okay, class. So, what do we got? We got Barbarian, Bard, Cleric, Druid, Fighter, Monk, Paladin, Ranger, Rogue, Sorcerer, Warlock, and Wizard. All right. All, uh, all our, uh, pretty much everything I was expecting to see. Now, while I haven't looked exactly into everything about everything about this game or anything like that, I have asked a few questions in Discord and been answered about certain builds that are not possible, such as Sorkadin or Coffee Lock, stuff like that. Some of the more, you know, well-known builds and stuff like that. All that being said, it just means I just don't go that build and I do something slightly different. But we will be going Warlock. That's right, my desire is to be a warlock. I am selling my soul for a 1d12 cantrip. Good old Eldritch Blast. Did I say 1d12, I meant 1d10. <laughs> and we get spell slots. I should change my high elf cantrip? Why? Inspect. Wait, what? Oh, okay. So that's what inspect does. Darkens everything else. Okay. All right, cantrips. Obviously, we're keeping Eldritch Blast. Uh, Blade Ward, we're going to change. Maybe Mage Hand. Do like me some mage hand. That way I can touch people's butts from far away. Now, I don't know what you're talking about, Neen, when it says right here, spellcasting ability charisma.
It's my class spellcasting ability. Oh, yeah? Oh, well. I guess you're right. Fair enough. Oh, yeah. So that is int. Hey, let's check something real quick. Okay, yeah. Uh, here's the thing. I don't care. I want shocking grass for the ability in case something gets on me so I can shock it and run away. All right, subclasses. We've got the Fiend. Warlocks in service to fiends work towards corrupting, destructive, and international, intentionally or otherwise, and receive hellish blessings in turn. Armor of Agathus. Hmm. Five temp hit points and five cold damage. Counterattack. Arms of Hadar. Oh, wait. I can select these, too. Okay. Dark One's Blessing. When you reduce a hostile creature to zero hit points, the gift from your patron grants you four temporary hit points. Oh, wow, that's nice. The Great Old One. Bound to an eldritch being in the far realm, work towards inscrutable goals, gaining strange powers over entropy in the mind. When you land a critical hit against a creature, a creature and any nearby enemies must succeed a wisdom saving throw or become frightened until the end of their next turn. Archfey. Fey Presence. Charm or fright nearby foes, the Fey Wiles beguiling, disturbing magics. For two turns on each one. What spells can we get? Oh, they're all the same spells, no matter my subclass. Yes? No. Arm person. Arms of Hadar. Expeditious retreat. Hellish rebuke. Uh, Hex. Make your attack deal an additional 1 to 6 necrotic damage to the target. Give it disadvantage on ability of your choosing. If they die before the spell ends, you can Hex a new creature without expending a spell slot. How nice. Protection from good and evil. Sleep. Witch Bolt. Okay. What did the great old one give me? Dissonant Whispers. Frighten a creature. Along with dealing psychic damage. Wisdom saving. Expeditious retreat. Hellish rebuke. Hex. Protection from good and evil. Tasha's hideous laughter. Ha 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 ha. Prone. With a uh, wisdom saving. Oh, this is concentration too. That's true. And then the fiend gives us burning hands. Command. Okay. Well, this is determined by class, not subclass, you say, as we look at different spells. Here, out of curiosity, what did this give me again? Just fleet of foot, that's it. And this gave me just the dancing lights can trip that I can't change. That's it. You would think wood you would think wood half elf would maybe give you something different than just fleet of foot. Okay. I guess if chat's going to be bitches about shocking grasp. Okay. 
Do 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 Okay, so I'm probably going to take Armor of Agathis. Actually, thinking about it, if I've got the Fiend, I get four temporary hit points any time I kill an enemy, so Armor of Agathis does lose some value if I'm killing. And we're taking Hex, that's for sure. Because Hex is always good. Now, our, uh, our spell choices have to be good because Warlocks get less spells than the other classes. So I have to make sure I pick good stuff. Hex is just kind of amazingly good because you can fuck an ability. And it comes back a little free. Is that their icon for a cone? It's burning hands is a cone. Hmm. Having a little trouble deciding on which other spell I'm going to take. Mostly because I'm not 100% sure what kind of uh, enemies we're going to be facing here. Obviously, obviously mind flares are going to be part of it. <laughs> That's the only info we've gotten from that opening thing. is that there will be mind flares. That's it. Do Alex get to re-choose at some levels like other casters? I don't know. I don't know, man. Concentration spell. Let me double check. Yeah. Do 
to d10. I don't really plan on getting up close and personal too much, so Hellish Rebuke's not my favorite. Maybe I'll just grab Burning Hands. I think it's between Burning Hands and Arms of Hadar for me. Although Witch Bolt's got really long range. Hmm, there is that. Ah, just give me the burning hands. All right, background. What do we got? Acolyte. Yeah, service to the temple, learning sacred rites to get insight in religion. Charlatan, an expert in manipulation, prone to exaggeration, and more than happy to profit from it. Bending the truth, turning allies, blah, blah, blah. You get deception and sleight of hand. All right. Lie, cheat, and steal. Criminal background. Have a history of breaking the law and surviving by leveraging less than legal connections. Profiting from criminal enterprises to lead to great opportunities, deception, and stealth bonuses. Entertainer. Live to sway and subvert your audience, engaging common crowds and high society alike, preserving art and bringing joy to the hapless acrobats and performance. Okiro. A champion of the common people, challenging tyrants and monsters to protect the helpless. Saving innocence and imminent danger will make your legend grow. Animal handling and survival. Plus two on each. Guild Artisan. Your skill in a particular craft has earned you membership in a mercantile guild, offering privileges and protection while engaging in your art. Repairing and discovering rare crafts will bring new inspiration, insight, and persuasion. Noble. You're fucking rich, bro. History and Persuasion. Outlander. Grew up in the wilds, learning to survive far from the comforts of civilization. You get athletics and survival bonuses. Sage. Curious and well-read with an unending thirst for knowledge, learning about rare lore of the world will inspire you to put this knowledge to greater purpose. Arcana and History bonuses. Soldier. Trained in battlefield tactics and combat, having served in the militia, mercenary company, or officer corps. Athletics and Intimidation. And Urchin. After surviving a poor and bleak childhood, you know how to make the most out of a very little. Using your street smarts bolsters your spirit for the journey ahead. Sleight of hand and stealth. Hmm. Urchin is just criminal before you became an adult. <laughs> I think I'll take Urchin, Sleight of Hand, and Stealth. Wait. That's it? If I clear? Ah. If I clear, then I can do whatever I want. Now I have full control. Assuming full control. Well, that's as high as charisma can get, okay. Strength? Who needs it? A little bit of normal stats there. Just for evening out. Actually, do I really need much intelligence? After all, Warlock is a charisma caster. We could go full on into the min-maxing here.
Thor Warlock was too dumb to magic. Don't call me dumb just because I'm dumb. <laughs> Re. Also, before I forget, I'm going back to this and getting shock and grasp, because fuck chat. What's my go-to race in D&D? Honestly, most anything, but I guess if I have to look at my character, probably like a half-elf, a human, an elf, something like that. Less monstery. Yeah, I, I see that I can reassign the bonuses. I'm choosing not to. Oh, that costs two. Oh boy. That costing two is a little rough, huh? I'll put those both to a minus one, along with a minus two on the strength. But dexterity is very good to have. And, like I said before, Int and Wisdom aren't going to be particularly amazing on us. This would put us to a minus two, I think, instead of a minus one. Oh, wait. Hold on. Yeah. do this. It's generally more wisdom saving throws than there are intelligence saving throws, generally. I think this should be fine for starting stats. Int and strength are our uh, dump stats. Let's edit our appearance now. It's time to... Alright, chat. Uh, let's go ahead. And take 17 years to make ourselves pretty, shall we? I love how changing between gender just makes us look the exact fucking same. Do next. Hmm. Let's hope. Hells. Some. Be wary. This place is trapped. It's opened. More of those wretched things. There's magic keeping this chest sealed. Where to next? Hmm. What was that? Let's hope the locals are friendly. Hells. 
Something just woke up down here. Be wary. This place is trapped. Pick body type first. Oh, body type. That's what changes our gender. Ah, okay. Small, tall. Small, tall. Small, tall. What do you think, chat? Do you think my cannon size is tall or small? The correct answer, Chad, is I am five foot ten, so I'm I'm basically a, a child. It's opened. I wonder what's back there. More of those wretched things. There's magic keeping this chest sealed. Where to next? Hmm. Let's hope the locals are friendly. Hells. So be wary. This place is trapped. It's opened. More of those wretched things. There's magic keeping this chest sealed. Hmm. What was... Let's hope the locals are friendly. Hells, something just woke up down here. We can be much more be British. Angry. This place is trapped. More of those wretched things. There's magic keeping this chest sealed. Where to next? Hmm. What was that? Let's hope the locals are friendly. Hells, something just woke up down here. Be wary. This place is trapped. It's more of those wretched things. There's magic. Hmm. Oh, let's hope the locals are friendly. Hells. Something just woke up down here. A nice deep voice, just like my deep voice. He's got that Owen Wilson nose with this one. Wow. What kind of monstrosity is this? Let's go with that. Skin tone. Purple. I guess that kind of fits with being slight with being drow, but we aren't a drow. Skin tone, I could get lost in a snowstorm. That's my skin tone. So yeah, something like that. Scarring. Do I want a cool scar? Jeez, like I got ritual marks. Burn marks. Sure, how about a couple of nicks? Couple nicks. Old, young, old, young. Freckles, no freckles. You can basically not even see the freckles. Oh, there you go. Intensity makes them visible. Vitiligo pigmentation. Oh, wow, that's a thing they added? Genitals. Oh, hold on, I need to know. The hell's the difference? Oh, the only difference is the hair? Oh, God. My penis, it disappeared. Uh, we're shaved. There we go. Okay. I 
That's general. Body art. So this is just tattoos. Looks uncomfortable to sleep on. Gotta take those out. Ooh, nice moons. Sperm, <laughs> sperm piercings, yes. Nose ring. Commoner, oh, another nose ring. Bard rings. Let's take the moons. Moon. Eyes. Oh, eye color. Okay. Elf blue. Elf Honestly, that's probably closest to my eye, eye color. My eye color is kind of a turquoise. Oh, we can have heterochromia? <gasps> anime main character. We did it, chat. We can be an anime main character. Blood red eye. Special eyes. And, and, and when we get angry, well, here's, here's how it is, chat. When we made the pact with the fiend, the fiend decided to take residence in our eye and can see through the eye through the pact. That's why it's red. There we go. Perfect. Makeup. A little bit of eyeliner. So that we can look fabulous. That's that's a little too thick. That's a bit much. Oh no, my makeup's running. I've been crying. Okay, now I joined a black metal band. A cutie mark. Lip tint. Oh, we can gloss it up. Girl, we can look so fab. Metallic makes it look more like lipstick. There we go. Those are some, those are some nice lips. Nice kissable lips. Mwah. All right, hair. Here's the important part. 
Oh my god. Nice ponytail. Vegeta! Ah. Uh... Fancy. Ah, it's the it's the rooster, the cock of the walk hairstyle. A mohawk. A man bun. Braids and the uh little the little balls. I don't I don't know what they're called. Half dread, half undread. Foxtail. Oh, it's the undercut with the ponytail. I never liked the, like, half-shaved look on anyone. I don't think it ever looks good. That's just me, though. I know plenty of people that like it, so, you know. Balding! Bald! Bald! It's called hubris for some reason. Okay. Hey, there's my hair. Well, if it was longer, it'd be my hair. We gotta find this, but longer. The mongoose tail, that's also close to my hair. I got very thick hair. It's also got that braid in it. Maybe it's just me, but I don't think it's particularly wise to wrap your hair up in a knot inside of your own hair. Use a hair tie. Slightly easier to get out when you need it to. Ah, yes. Generic protagonist haircut. Generic side character haircut. A girl boss haircut. Uh, side comedy character haircut. The I haven't washed my hair in a, in a week haircut. The I haven't washed my hair in a year haircut. <laughs> Ooh, long and luxurious. Let your sleeping soul take flight quickly through the night. Fancy. Some braids. Extremely fancy braids, goddamn. Very whirly curly. Dreads. The Dreadhawk. The Dreadhawk. It's, it's long hair, but it also includes this weird, like, curl at the top. Like, I look like... That looks like you're gonna go preside over a court hearing. Either that or go sink your teeth into someone's neck. Oh, yeah, brother. That's what we're talking about right here, baby. Everybody knows you gotta put yourself out. Nice use of your, uh... <laughs> God, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Whoops. It's just a ponytail with some braids to it. This does not look good. No. Interesting. Uh, J-pop boy band member haircut right there. Uh, that's a that's a that's a handsome man haircut right there. I don't even know what to call that. Other than only handsome people are allowed to have that haircut. 
Curly. The Adam Driver. An Afro. Tight Dreads. Whatever the fuck that is. I, I've got that... You know that stuff they put into, like, an Easter basket as fake grass? That's what it looks like is on the head. Slick back hair. The I have to go to a, an evil business meeting at 5 o'clock hairstyle. The I have to go to an evil business meeting at 6 o'clock hairstyle. Very generic hairstyle. Oh no! The I've lost my hair, but I refuse to admit it. I still have hair totally, guys, hairstyle. <laughs> oh hey, Thor hair. Just not long enough called River Shaman. I'm a River Shaman, chat. Pretty normal hair. Normal is in like standard character hair, I would say. Slick back wavy. That, that, that's like noble hair. Dumb noble hair. All continuing dumb noble hair. Curly hair. Long curly. Yeah, that's not too bad. Ah, yes, the, uh, the, the monk hawk, I'll call it. Only monks are allowed to have this style of mohawk. The Legolas! The I am going to have the biggest knot in my hair ever. The it's not a phase, mom. <laughs> the it I told you it wasn't a phase, mom. I kept growing my hair for the past five years. Duck butt. Ponytail. Ponytail. And a common short. Big dreads. Looks like greasy long hair. Greasy short hair. Oh, simple, po simple high ponytail. Hair buns. Super tight dreads. Or, not dreads, cornrows. That's what I meant. Why is this called Prim and Perfect? This is a pretty solid hairstyle. More for a woman than a man, though. As in, it looks better on a woman. Ah, the other monk hairstyle. The I'm gonna hit you with my... with my long braided hair. The hair whip.
I think I'll go with this one. I like this one. I think that's about pretty close. Highlights. Okay, no highlights. Graying. Eh. We young, no graying. Facial hair, obviously we need some facial hair. Unless the facial hair looks like shit, which kind of does. Oh no. Why does the facial hair look bad? Bully! Put him up! Put your dukes up, chat! Telling me I need to shave? I mean... This is close to what I have. I have even less facial hair than this. My facial hair doesn't look this fucking bad or like that color. Oh. What do you know? I guess we'll go clean shaven then because the facial hair does not look good. It's like the facial hair itself doesn't look- except for the long facial hair, that actually works. The short facial hair looks like shit. Looks terrible. But the long facial hair actually looks pretty nice. Like this? That's pretty good. It still looks like it's pinned onto the face wrong. Because of the way the light bounces off of it, but otherwise it's pretty good. I think we'll go without facial hair since it's not looking great. There we go, chat. It me. Look how pretty I am. The short stuff isn't edged to the face correctly. Like, my problem is... If you look at it... Like, look at the, the, the highlighting and shading on it. It just looks wrong. It looks like the hair is metallic almost and not actually hair. And then for the longer hair, that's where it looks like it doesn't connect to the face properly. So we'll just go shaved. That's fine. There we are, chat. We made our character. It only took... 17 years. Actually, it didn't take that long. It was like, what, 45 minutes or so? Let's proceed. Character name. Thorlock. Duh. We are the Thorlock. Nodders. Proceed. I need a guardian. Oh boy. What's this? Am I making another character? Is this another character?
Okay. An NPC that's important to the plot. Okay. In that case... What do we got here? It's time to roll some dice. This is how we're going to decide on our character. All right, I'm going to roll a d10. Okay, d10 shows one, so we it's a drow or sub race. Well, this is flip a coin. Boop. Seldarine drow. Okay. Okay, it's three. Okay. Uh, we'll have male be number one. Go. It is two for female. All right. Voice, there are how many? Eight? Remarkable. Two. We're just going to keep the same voice. Okay. Eight faces. One D8. Bam. All right, it says five. It's going to be a little older. All right. Skin tone. Oh, my God. You know what? I'll just do the skin tone myself because I think there's too many. Too many choices there. Sure. That's great for a drow. Alright, scarring. Here we go. We can roll a d10 for that. And bam. Six. This one. Cross the nose. We'll just keep all that the same. Body art. Four by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay. Okay, it looks like we're going back up here and we are selecting eight. Okay, then. I guess she got into some cult shit at some point. We're just going to say no piercings. Let's roll 2d10 for x and y multiple choices. Fair enough. Hold on, heterochromia. So 1 and 2, yes or no? No, no heterochromia. Make up. Looks like we're going with a little bit more eyeshadow. Okay, then. Let's make it some glossy lips, yeah. All right, hair. Oh my god, there's a lot. I think I think I should probably choose the hair myself. Otherwise, we're going to wind up with some abomination. Okay, chat. I, I rolled some dice to see what hair we would get. It's way up here. There it is, I think. One, two, three, four, five. Yep. Well, at least it at least it wound up being somewhat normal. 
That's fine. I rolled the dice for it. I rolled dice for it. Calm down. Toothpaste hair if I do that. Look, she might be getting older, but she's still young at heart, so she's got those highlights in to show that she's wild. Graying doesn't really help do much when your hair color is white. Facial hair, none. All right. There's our guardian. Tally-ho, venture forth and all that. 